As I am recording this right now, we are on the final week of Chapter 5 Season 1 of Fortnite. We are getting closer and closer to Chapter 5 Season 2, and people are getting their thoughts in on what they think about the season and what could have been better and what Epic can improve on for Chapter 5 Season 2. So I think this is about time I finally give my full thoughts on this season as a whole, as someone who's like been grinding this whole thing out. So. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's happened throughout these past three months, and I think, I think it's about time I like talk about what could improve and wondering if Chapter Five Season Two can actually save Chapter Five because, let's be real, like uh, my thoughts on this season is not gonna be that pretty. So bear with me, uh, but I can understand that if some people actually did not like the season a lot, it, it it has grown stale. At first, I thought. At the beginning, I thought it was really great, but as time went on, the, as the season dragged, there were some issues to pop, that were popping up, left, right, and center. So, why don't we start at the beginning on how this all started? It all started with the trailer. Now, at first, I, when I saw the t when I saw the leaked image, I thought it was a fucking joke. Peter Griffin and Fortnite. I mean, to be fair, we had Futurama as a collab during Chapter Four, Season Three, but Peter Griffin and family. It, it, in Fortnite, that's just oh man. But I saw the trailer, and turns out that was actually true. And is not just Peter Griffin, but also Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid. He is also being in Fortnite, and that in of itself, I think that was a lot better than just him being in Smash Bros. But yeah, that was pretty much the prelude to Chapter Five, Season One. And when the season started, and as time went on during December. I remember I seen a lot of tweets talking about the movements. People were pretty much like confused on how why the movement changed. And when the official Fortnite account announced that they've actually made some tweaks to the movement to make it more fluid, people are pissed at the fact that they've actually changed it. So much to the fact that they even sent like hate and death threats to the producer of the movement. And I'm like, bro, really? I touched on it a bit about about this on my first video on Chapter Five Season Two, and I gotta say, people really, they they really, you guys really need to chill out on this because first of all, it's not really that big of a deal. It's not really that big of a change, and I've even seen other like YouTubers who didn't really mind the movement change. So why? Why is this even was this even a big deal? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why was that even a big deal? But that doesn't even stop there. I think the first bad thing that actually happened was the Winterfest. So at first I did not know much about it, but after watching a bunch of YouTube YouTube videos, apparently so apparently for Winterfest, there was supposed to be a cabin where you can actually open one gift for each day. And not only that, but there was also supposed to be a trailer. However, this year there were no cabin and there were no actual trailer for Winterfest and that that was a bit criminal and I also heard there was supposed to be like not only new skins but also returning skins for Winterfest yet that didn't actually come up like and, and if we're going off on new skins one of them in particular like the Summer Seeker Eevee that was supposed to also come out during Winterfest, yet that never came out, along with two other skins that I don't know the names of, but yeah, they've definitely dropped the ball there on Winterfest. And you know, on one hand, I can kind of understand, considering that they've considering that they've worked their ass off to bring in three other modes, like Fortnite Festival, Lego Fortnite, and Rocket Racing, I can understand that, but to not have a cabin and not being able to open one present for each day during that cabin, that is that is a bit sad and disappointing, and I can understand why people actually did not like Winterfest this year. And this not wasn't even the first time. I heard that it also happened back in 2020. That apparently did not happen, and it maybe it had something to do with COVID. I'm not sure, but man, Winterfest big disaster. But you want to know what was even a bigger disaster? The item shops. So let me just get this out of the way. When they announced the three new modes, which was Fortnite Festival, Rocket Racing, and Lego Fortnite, they also added, they also each has their own sets of cosmetics. For Fortnite Festival, you not only have instruments to buy, you can also buy the skin of the artist that is actually headlining. For example, Fortnite 
festival season one we had the weekend and he was in a shop for over two months and i remember a lot of people making an outrage over the fact that he stayed in the item shop for way for way too long but I understand why he stood in there for like two. I can understand why he stood in the shop for like that period of time because of the fact, well, they wanted to make sure that that skin along with the festival pass skin, both of them stay in the exact same time, which was during February 22nd. That was the last day for them to actually like be out of the shop. And right now for season two, we have Lady Gaga and the same cycle is going to happen. She's gonna be in the shop for two months and people are gonna complain, bitch, and moan about it. <laughs> so there's no escaping that. But the main issue itself is the item shops. They feel so unorganized. In fact, let me just get this out of the way. The UI in this game for the lobby is pretty bad this was just a that pretty much the start of it back in chapter 4 season 4 where they pretty much changed the ui of the map uh, how, of which mode you wanted to go to so instead of actually pressing a simple button and then just choosing which mode you actually scroll you actually can actually go down and you choose which mode you wanted to play and i thought okay that was fine but as time went on during chapter during chapter 4 season 5 which was fortnite og they changed up the shop tremendously. I remember at the beginning of Fortnite OG, the item shops was terrible. Seriously, there was less items in the shop. And I'm wondering, what the hell? What was going on with the item shops? But they were getting better. I will say they were getting better and better. And not only that, but we also had two new collabs during that time. We had Invisible along with Eminem. And that, that was actually a good improvement. However, when Chapter 5 Season 1 started, we had a whole change of the UI. Not just going on with the, like, the lobby and changing which mode you wanted to go to, but also the item shops and the locker. And I will say the locker UI is really bad. I tried to get, I did try to get used to it, but I, I just got so damn used to how it was during Chapter 4. And the fact that they actually sw switched it out, pretty bad. But not as horrible as the item shops because oh my god the item shops they are so unorganized seriously all the stuff you get from the three new modes they are in the shop as well and they take up almost not almost but over half of the shop all you see are jam tracks instruments as well as the headline artist not only that but they also have their own tab for the lego skins and on top of that as well, they also have car bundles that you can buy. And I remember at the beginning when they started selling car bundles, the prices were ridiculous. I mean, the highest one that they went up to was 4,000 V-Bucks, which was insane. I am so glad they actually improved on the prices. And now you can actually buy a car bundle for like just 1,500 V-Bucks. But the jam tracks being at 500 when you have bundles with lobby tracks and a jam track combined for 500 that's just uh, that's just unfair lobby tracks by themselves cost 200 v bucks so if anything i think the jam track should have been 300 v bucks also the instruments themselves i think they should not be over a thousand v bucks like i remember when the tmnt collab came out they had instruments each over 1500 v bucks per a piece and the bundle itself a lot better than just buying them individually because if you buy all four of these instruments individually you're going to be spending six thousand v bucks i'm telling you right now so <laughs> buying the whole set at the same time is worth it but not the other but also is not worth it at the same time so yeah the item shops pretty bad and it didn't and didn't stop there they also recycling collabs during january rick and morty was in a shop three times three times in one month like that is just that is just insane like i can understand them being in the shop for like once or twice or per the whole month but three times are you kidding me now look th there were some good that actually came out of the item shots again the tmnt collabs the event pass which cost a thousand v bucks that was also good and also the Dragon Ball Cosmetics, they came back when Frieza and Cell actually made their debut in the item shop. So 
that that event of the shelf that was actually good and i remember also people complaining about the dragon ball cosmetics being in the item shop for two weeks on one hand i can kind of understand but on the other hand i'm just glad they stayed that long because i was able to get as much stuff as i can from that collab the only thing i'm missing right now is the piccolo bundle as well as the master oshi staff and back bling along with the fusion emote so yeah i was able to get some benefits i was able to get a lot of benefits out of dragon ball collab so that's that's that but i do wish they would have actually add more variety into the item shots because it's not just re recycling collab they're also re recycling original cosmetics like i remember the bell the bell berry skin that was a shot for like three times three times in a month just the same at the same time just like rick and morty that was in a shot for like three times in a month it wasn't just that but they also skipping out on bundles they've they've got a bunch of stuff from the collabs as well as the fortnite originals i mean how can you have bell berry in the shop but not have her pickaxe and her wrap how can you have jack skeleton along with his pickaxe and his glider in the shop but not his emote along with the bundle i i don't know what epic was even thinking with this type of things and I do hope they actually do improve on the item shops. I'm just saying right now, because these item shops, the past few, th these past few weeks of item shops were terrible. I I'll be the first to tell you that. The again, the TMNT collabs, the Dragon Ball cosmetics, those were the only good things that actually came out of it. In fact, also what also came out of it, Yuji Itadori finally made it into the item shop <laughs> after like, oh, like six months, I believe. Yeah, he finally in the shop, and you can't even buy both of the skins separately. You have to buy both of them, all both of them for fifteen hundred V bucks, which is actually not bad. So, and the, let's. So I don't know what happens if you actually do bought the premium reward track, meaning you got street streetwear UG, but yet you couldn't complete the actual uh, event pass and not be able to get the original UG Itadori. I think maybe they. Maybe they'll probably discount it and maybe like just separate, not separate, but maybe like cut the price in half. I'm not sure, but if that ever happened to you, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, the item shops, man, what a disaster. And I do hope they actually improve on the item shops for chapter five season two. Maybe they they might actually do so with the upcoming collabs, like the Avatar, the last Airbender collab, that's gonna be coming in April along with jujutsu kaisen that's going to be coming i think in march with a second wave so you know there's more to, there's a lot of things to look forward for chapter 5 season 2 but i'll get to that later but what about the season itself the game itself chapter 5 season 1 what about the theme in the loot pool i would say the theme of it uh i'm wasn't really feeling the theme that much like i understand the actual lore behind it i understand uh vengeance jones and hope's mission you know hope's mission to stop valeria's like stop her sister valeria from obtaining the gem this gem i don't know much of, I, I don't know the name of it but like some relic that apparently actually ties in with chapter 5 season 2 and for jones he's trying to find his good friend peely and he believes that um the society actually kidnapped them the society that being uh valeria oscar montague and nisha so i i do see the lore behind the actual story but the theme itself kind of feels like call of duty fortnite that's just that's the theme that i'm getting it's call of duty fortnite like the new the new like mode they added for the weapons like being able to add mods to your weapons to make them a lot better i will say that's pretty good that is actually really awesome and i know they're gonna be adding new stuff to, to the weapons but i do wish they would have add spice up the loot pool as well again the theme of it could have been better i think it would have been a, a lot more colorful because considering that fortnite is just a wacky cartoonish game with fun and crazy like fun and crazy aesthetics think about it i can play as goku rocking a shotgun and just shoot down darth vader or something you know something really crazy like that that's the point of fortnite it's this is wacky cartoon nature that's what i liked about fortnite and for like this season for this season to like just go into like a whole dark gritty and like faded type of theme 
I wasn't really feeling it that much, but at the same time, I did have fun with the season. I'll be the one to tell you that. I did have fun with the season. I still wish the loot pool would have been a bit better. Like maybe I can add in some more wacky, maybe add some more wacky items. On the buy side, they did add like the um the pizza party along with the uh, Team and Team Mythics. That was pretty wacky. That was actually pretty cool, and I do enjoy that. So there's that. But I think they could have been better if they added other weapons. I do enjoy the other shotguns, like the tactical shotgun from Fortnite OG, uh, the Maven Jump shotgun, which I played for like Chapter Four, Season Four, all as well as the Jump shotgun from Chapter Four, Season Three. I do enjoy those. I, I do enjoy playing with those weapons during those seasons. But I do think that would have been better if they actually add more variety into the loot pool. Cause I'll tell you, some of the items that they bought back was not really that great. The crash, the crash pads weren't even weren't even that good. They were not. They were not something that I actually like use much. Not even a cardboard box. And I know that was supposed to be a collab item, but they even, even that just falls flat. And I swear, every time I open up a goddamn a goddamn chest, a blue chest to be exact. Every time I open that up when going into the vault, nine times out of ten, it's a goddamn anvil rocket launcher. It's been spawning so goddamn much ever since ever since the update where they added solid snake into the game. Ever since that came out, I've been seeing nothing but rocket launchers every time I open up the blue chest. I'm like, what the hell? Can't they can't they just add more variety into these blue chests? Like Whatever happened to the legendaries? Like most of the time, we get legendaries out of the blue chest, and we still do, as well as the original chest. But I would have been appreciate. I would have been fine if they actually toned down on the rocket launchers, because they were pissing me the hell off. The loot pool could have been better. I think that's what I think. That could have been better. And you know what? Also could have been better if they actually brought back the previous features that was in Chapter Four. The flags. I I enjoy getting weapons when actually like. Whenever we're capturing flags, I enjoyed capturing the flags during different spots of the map during chapter four, season threes and four. I enjoyed that a lot. And for that to only have one flag to capture, which is the loot island, that really disappointing. I also heard we were supposed to have augments coming back for this season. And that was also disappointing because they didn't even bought those back in, the, in this season. And it's not just that, but we were also supposed to have augments dedicated for the TMNT event, yet that never showed up. So I'm thinking maybe they might have them in the second season. I hope they do. I really do. But yeah, there was some, there was some, there were some things I actually missed. Even the keys themselves, the ability to actually like use keys to actually get exotic weapons. We did not see a single exotic weapon in chop during this season and i know they didn't have them in fortnite og but still that was the fun part when it came to using the keys to be able to use an exotic weapon that was the fun of it you don't you didn't also get the exotic weapons from keys you also get them from augments with something that i really do hope they actually bring back Ugh. needless to say chapter 5 season 1 not really as great as chapter four season four i think in my opinion out of the seasons that i played which was five of them chapter four season four definitely the best one that i played i will say chapter five season one it is slightly better than chapter four season three and that's mainly because of the like the actual battle pass the battle pass was actually the the good part of it like chapter four season three didn't really have much interesting skins the only thing that was good about the battle pass was the fact that we could actually play as Optimus Prime. That was the fun of chapter four, season three. But at least chapter five, season one actually spiced it up a bit with the collabs, adding Peter Griffin and Solid Snake into the battle pass. And I know I had my criticism about the battle pass, but I am curious as to what they will add for chapter five, season two. I heard we were supposed, we might actually get the younger Kratos for, for the battle pass in chapter five, season two, but only time will tell. Hopefully that actually does become a thing. And what I also hope for is that they do bring back the previous features. I hope they bring back the augments. I hope they bring back the flag capturing. I also hope they bring back the keys so that we can actually use those to actually get exotics. So I also hope that they actually bring back. Ugh, there's a lot that I actually hope for in Chapter 5 Season 2. And I do. And I want you to think. 
Can chapter five season two actually save chapter five? I know people were feeling that like the Fortnite charm is starting to disappear a bit, especially not just considering the fact that we get three extra modes, which is pretty much like just overwhelming the uh the original mode, which is Battle Way Out and Zero Build. But on uh, like the collaboration between Fortnite and Disney. That in of itself is also a bit worrying because there's no telling what they could do. So, yeah, I'm kind of hoping, not kind of, but I am hoping that Chapter 5 Season 2 actually spice things up a bit. I hope they actually do better and actually improve on what could have been, what could have been fun in Chapter 5 Season 1, but ended up being abysmal. I, I really hope they actually, like improve on the item shops because i'm i'm actually getting tired of seeing these same cosmetics i am getting tired of seeing less new stuff and i'm also getting tired of over half of the item shop being carried over by the new modes and i do i really hope they actually do the best on the item shops I, that's really one of the main things that could have been better but i think that's about it overall chapter 5 season 1 it was an okay season, but it could have been better. But let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think the do you think chapter five season one is good or do you think it was mid? Do you think it was bad? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and also hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to join the Star Nation. If you also I wanna also wanna say this if you actually feel that the game is not having is not much fun i would say the best solution is to play fortnite with friends because that is pretty much the best part when playing fortnite is playing the game with your friends and having a good time win or lose so if you want to make some good friends you can actually join my discord server we got a bunch of we got a bunch of friends i got a bunch of people who actually enjoy fortnite uh if you want we can all, you can also play with some of the members of the Dream Star Squad, but yeah, my Discord link will be not only in the description, but also in the comment section below. So if you're feeling the need to actually play Fortnite with me, you can do so with Discord. But that's going to be it. Until then, this is the Star, this is Star the Protagonist signing out. As always, Goki Ginyo, and have a star day, everyone.